Keeping with election preparation, Brianna Richardson spoke with Houston County Board of Elections about upcoming dates and what the timeline looks like. According to the Secretary of State's office, counties can start scanning absentee ballots as early as October 19th. This can help them manage the expected volume because of the pandemic. Andy Holland of Houston County says that's their plan. We'll start opening and scanning ballots uh, two weeks before the election. And the result, results from that wouldn't be reported until election night. And early voting in Houston County starts Tuesday, October 13th. Holland says early votes and election day votes will also be reported on election night. Election day after the polls close at 7, poll workers bring us back um, the memory cards and the ballots and all their stuff. And we, we tabulate those results then. You know, the time depends on how soon they get back to us after 7. Same for early voting. We would close out the early voting machines at 7 p.m. on election night and report those on election night. Provisional votes have a different deadline. Provisional votes, um, which would be uh, if someone goes to vote and it doesn't look, look like they're registered or they don't have ID, they would cast a provisional ballot. And then um, depending on the situation, our office would have to determine whether it would be counted or not. Provisional is the one you kind of have to wait on. Um, they would be reported the Friday after the election. The Secretary of State's office says November 6 is the last day to return absentee ballots that were rejected because of errors and to resolve any questions with provisional ballots. In Perry, Brianna Richardson, 13 WMAZ News. The Secretary of State's office says counties must certify all election returns and deliver a hard copy of official returns to the state by Friday, November 13th.